Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Chevjin Academy and today we'll be looking at the design of staircase on Prota structure. So if this is your first time on this channel or you've been coming to my channel and you've not been subscribing, please kindly hit the subscribe button below and turn on the notification button so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. So you can, we'll be using the Peter details package for this tutorial and you can open it by double clicking on the icon on your desktop or you right click and you click on open. So once you open Peter details, you have these windows. So you can start by creating a new project by coming to a new project here and clicking on it then you have to rename your project so let's change this to steer you can use space so i'm going to use underscore design then once you're done then you check ok then the software will actually ask you for the design template so these are the various design codes that are available on Prota structures. So you can also use a template, a project template, that is all the settings that you've done for a particular project. You want to uh, implement it in your new project. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I will be checking on the UK BS8110 code and then import. So once you import, then you have this window, then you can start by creating a new drawing because we are starting with a new project. Then once you click on that, the first thing that you want to do before you start working on any project is actually to set your project, that is to carry out some um, parameter settings such as the cover setting the type of reinforcement that you want you can actually do that by coming to setting then coming to options then once you are on option then you can come to stairs because you are dealing with stairs then let's change our concrete cover to 25 mm then we are leaving the bob length the top and bottom bob length as 300 mm we are not changing it then the minimum bar spacing let's change our minimum bar spacing to 125 mm then the maximum bar spacing for the primary reinforcement which is uh the main reinforcement Let's change it to 200 mm. Then the minimum rebar, the minimum bar for design. Let's change the minimum bar reinforcements to a diameter of 12 mm. Then the distribution bar spacing. Let's change the distribution bar spacing also to 200 mm. Then the distribution rebar diameter. You can change it to a diameter of 10 mm. So once you're done with your settings then you click ok then you can continue to count to ignore this error so once the setting has been done the next thing now is to start your design so we'll be designing a simple staircase as this as you have yeah all the various parameters about the staircase had been uh had been Taking. So this staircase has a story height of 3150 mm and it also has an intermediate landing before you have the story, the story slabs. Circled it. So this is an intermediate landing, that is you have a landing for the staircase before this before the floor or before the story 
So this is a, this is a story landing. This is a story landing or floor landing. Why this is an intermediate landing? A staircase normally comprises of um, slabs, a small slab thickness comprised of the rafter, the riser, and the tread. So this is a typical riser, and this is a tread. So once all the dimensions have been known, then the next thing now is to come to Prota Structure, come to Design Library, and click on Stairs. So you see, we have different type of stairs that you can design on Prota. You have the double armed stairs. You have the load bearing stairs, in which then you have the spiral stairs. The do for the purpose of this class, looking at the the type and the orientation of all the staircases that we have here, you see that our own stairs is actually a double arm stairs supported by outer edges because this staircase is supported by the, this beam here this beam here and this beam here the beam here are not supporting the staircase they are floor beams so this is actually the plan of the staircase why this is the elevation so therefore we'll be using the first option which is supported by outer edges so the first thing that we we'll have to input is our story height the story height as you said earlier is 3150 so come in here enter 3150 then the next thing is the width of the stairs so the width of the stairs can actually be seen on you can actually see that on plan which is 1300 so come in here, enter 1300. Then the story landing width. Actually, you can see the you can see the representation of each of these uh, parameters in the diagram here. So as you are making changes to these tier parameters, there will be some changes in the diagrams here as well. So the story landing width, the story landing width is represented by BSK, which is this part of the stairs. And according to our own staircase, the story landing width is 1,088, which is this value. While the intermediate landing width is 1,113 mm. So coming back to Prota, so 1,113. 8088 and here we have 1113 mm then the plate thickness of the stairs this is actually the thickness the slab thickness for the stairs you know i said stairs comprise of a small slab and the you have the riser and the tread so the thickness of the stairs is 150 of the plate stairs is 150 while the thickness of your story stairs is also 150 the thickness of your story is also 150 so that means the plate thickness for the stairs is 150 the plate thickness from the landing is also 150 then the stair hole the stair hole is actually represented as bk in the diagram here you can see bk this is the stair hole so coming to our own staircase you can actually see that on plan so this is the stair hole and has a width of 200 mm so we have 200 mm then the next is the number of stairs this is actually the total number of staircase so you can actually count the number of stairs that you have we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so in our own case we have 16 staircases 16 staircase then the step width the width of the stairs which is the tread is actually 300 mm as you can see here 300 mm 300 mm then the step height which is the riser that is 150 then additional dead loads normally Prota structure is going to calculate the dead load 
automatically based on the input parameters but additional dead loads is for other dead loads that are not are uh, other dead load which include the finishes the crit and <coughs> dead load for services so you can use a dead load of one kilonewton depending on your you can use an additional dead load of one kilonewton per meter square or 1.5 depending on your designed code so let's use it additional dead load of 1.5 then live load this actually depends on the purpose of your structure if the staircase is a staircase for residential building you have a minimal live load but if the staircase the purpose of the staircase is to if the purpose of the staircase is for public buildings such as hospital schools then you have a higher life load this is actually based on your design code so the, for the purpose of this class we'll be using a life load of 1.5 then uh, the support width this is actually the width of the beam that is actually supporting the staircase according to our own example we have this beam is supporting our staircase so the width of this beam can actually be measured by coming to dimension the height of the beam is 450 the height is 450 while the width is 225 mm so coming to proper structure so we have 225 for the width and the height is 450 so once i'm inputting any of this parameter if once you're done with the parameter the next thing now is to you can label your staircase so let's change it to stair one so once you're done with uh putting all your dimensions okay let's change our story height to this so once you're done with inputting all your dimension then you can click on redesign for you to actually ask Prota structure to design this, this staircase based on the parameters that you input. So once I click on this, then you see it said insufficient plate thickness of stairs arm. That means the thickness of the plate needs to be increased. So let's go back. Then for you now go to the plate thickness. You increase it by an increment of 75 and 25 mm so let's change the thickness to 175 then once this is done then you click on redesign again stairs has been designed previously click on yes so now you can now see that the design has been done so let's say there is something that is also failing again so it will bring the error before design is being done so you can actually now see that you now have a bad diameter of the printer structure is providing a bad diameter of 13 m 13 mm at quantity of nine for the primary rebar at the top and at the bottom which is spacing of 150 so then you see it provides a distribution reinforcement of 12 mm diameter and at a spacing of 6 690 mm so you can click on design reports to generate a report for your design so this is actually yeah, your design parameters so this is the check for deflection you see the this is the span then this is the actual depth that means the deflection check is okay then these are the loadings you can see that prota has already generated a loading based on this tier which is the dead load this is the uh, um, landing the dead load of the landing this is the additional dead load that we input and this is the life load there you can see the section forces on your members then this is actually the bending moment bending moment then you can see the reinforcement required and what it's provided. So you can just close your design report or you can send export to PDF 
using this uh using this icon or if you want it to be exported as document file so i'm just going to close the with design report so once your report has been generated the next thing is to generate your details drawings so once then you can actually do that by clicking on detail drawings so once you click on detail drawings you have this mouse cursor a pointed mouse cursor then you can click on any point on the template or on the window to actually start your detail drawings so i'm just going to click here so once i click all my detailed drawings have been my details drawing has been done then you can also see the steer quantity takeoff and the bar bending schedule of your project so if you are satisfied with this you can just export this detail to autocad or you can export it at d as dwg file by using this export dwg clicking on it so once you double click on it then you can actually change the directory where you want to save your project by clicking on change directory and save where you actually want so i'm just going to close then you can you can determine the type of the version of autocad file that you want so i'm just going to leave it as 2010 then click on export so once the export is being done then you can click on it to actually open it so this is our detail drawing together with the taking off together with the quantity taking off so thanks for listening make sure you subscribe to this channel if you find this video helpful see you next time